This is your overview video for Unit 3. In this unit, you will explore the music of the 19th century, which influences and leads towards the early 20th century modernists. While the Romantic period spans just 90 years, major growth in musical expression, instrument capabilities, and theatrical music are taking place throughout the 19th century. Instrumental technical advances that began in the later Baroque and Classical periods continue even further in the 19th century. These play a major factor in allowing composers to enhance emotions in their music. This is especially prominent with the piano. Even though the instrument can trace its beginnings back to the early 18th century, it is during the 19th century when the piano begins to resemble a more modern instrument. Some of the leaders in piano manufacturing were the Steinway brothers, Erard Pianos, and Playel Pianos, a favorite of Frédéric Chopin. The legacy of Beethoven still loomed large in the 19th century, but a new generation of composers continued to explore intensified emotions and a blending of the arts in their Romantic period music, and give the piano a much more important role. These composers include Franz Schubert, husband and wife Robert and Clara Schumann, and brother and sister Felix and Fanny Mendelssohn. Again, the shadow of Beethoven is ever present in piano virtuosity, with an extensive repertoire of highly challenging piano music arising in the Romantic period. Two such composers are Frédéric Chopin, who wrote almost exclusively for the instrument, and Fanny Mendelssohn Hensel. The Romantic period orchestra expands in every way, in emotional capacity, in technical ability, and literally in size. French composer Hector Berlioz shepherded programmatic symphonic music. Felix Mendelssohn and Edvard Grieg composed meaningful music for theatrical productions. And other composers such as Johannes Brahms adhered to classical forms and absolute musical styles rather than rely on programmatic devices. The 19th century is often referred to as the golden age of opera. Many present opera companies still stage the operas from this time, and they are still quite popular and well attended. Some of the leaders of this time are Giuseppe Verdi, whose music was also used during the unification of Italy. German composer Richard Wagner and Italian opera composer Giacomo Puccini, who took on rather dark and more realistic subjects for his operas. As the century approached its end, more music for the stage was explored. The beauty of Russian classical ballet and its music is expressed in the compositions of Tchaikovsky. While a new modern approach to dance was explored in France with music to complement it by Claude Debussy. The unit wraps up with a brief introduction to early 20th century modernists 
many of whom challenged every aspect of music and rejected much of what had come before them. Modern orchestras explored the darker, low-range instruments like bassoons and trombones. Others highlighted and wrote exclusively for percussion sections. And once again during the period, the piano is explored for its orchestral qualities. Some of the composers of the early 20th century who opened new musical doors are Austrian Arnold Schoenberg, Russian Igor Stravinsky, and one of the youngest and first female to win the coveted Prix de Rome Award, French composer Lily Boulanger.